Okay, good evening everyone. Pastor Brett here, real quick. Um, I showed you that Bible today from um, that one right over there from uh, Sam's Club. Um, this one here is one that I got in the mail yesterday and didn't get a chance to show it to you. So, I want to show you this one. This is the Holman KJV Study Bible um, in black coat skin. Hallelujah. And uh, full color um, photos, illustrations, maps, and more. Wow. Now, you've seen this Bible before now, so um, this isn't something new. Um, but uh, I thought I would show it again. You can pause that, take a look at that, the features. Um, the Bible um, is $150. Um, I got this at Christian Book for, I think, $120, $130, something like that. Save some money. Um, Christianbook.com. That's CBD or Christianbook.com. Um, and that's the box. Here is the Bible. Oh, yeah. Look at the grain on that Bible. Oh, isn't that absolutely beautiful? This is a goat skin with a perimeter stitching all the way around. Um, it has one ribbon marker now. Um, I took the red ribbon out because it was almost on top of this black one which was not by design um, they intend to put them as close to the center as possible this is the same Bible just in the hardcover version which I'll show you comparatively but you can see how close they like to keep them one for the Old Testament one for the new black and the red I did the same thing with the goatskin version here um, and uh, I took the red one out this is not going to be a giveaway. This is going to be my Bible. Um, but uh, um, it is going to allow me to give a few more Bibles away. So um, as I showed you, the perimeter stitching is absolutely beautiful. Um, the goat skin is very soft. But whenever you feel a soft, squishy Bible, I've shown you before and have told you before that they put a thin layer of foam under the cover. It's a very thin layer of foam, um, but uh, it's there to make it soft and plush, that plush feeling that you, that you get. And you see the corner work is absolutely wonderful, and they put the gilt line, gilt line around the outside, around the perimeter there. Um, this is edge lined, as you can see. And they do a very good job with the edge line. This is the leather liner. This is a leather liner too. This is not polymer. Um, and you can see how it wrinkles in this crease. So you know that it's leather. But of course, um, it's obvious to me. This, they, they, they miter their corners, but slightly. Um, but they do miter them so that you don't see that tab sticking out. Um, and then they give you a healthy tab, which I think is better. The shorter the tab, the um, more likelihood of it separating and uh, coming apart. Um, this is the end sheet. I would, they, they glue this up very high. They glue that up. I, I would normally only glue it to the end of the tab. But if I'm going to glue it this far, which I think is actually better than just the tab, um, I would just glue the whole sheet. Then you have one solid end sheet, right? If it's glued right, it won't be wrinkled or um, clumped up. So um, it looks good. Um, I think that they uh, doing a fine job with it. Uh, you have your uh, presentation page. Simple presentation page. Presented to, by whom, and on what day. Uh, first page, wow, why does it happen? You know, it's always that first page. 
eaten up today. That was like that right out of the box, folks. So, um, I'm not worried about that. Um, okay, so, you've seen this Bible before. Um, King James Study Bible. Um, there are your ISBNs. Um, this particular black premium leather is this volume. 7810877-2201-6. There it is. Um, that doesn't bother me. I, I don't care. That doesn't bother me. They're people too, man. They need to work. They're making money. God bless them. Uh, and the Bible's being printed at an inexpensive price. Uh, and because it's being printed in an inexpensive manner, making it more affordable for you and I. Uh, as I said, this Bible is only $150. This is a $250 Bible. This uh, blows away some of the rebinds, and I think this outdoes um, the Cambridge Bible by leaps and bounds. Um, but what is it about this Bible that I like the most? Uh, the what's inside. Uh, uh, not only is this Bible reformed in its theology, but it, um, it, uh, there's your contributors, editors, um, study note contributors, and you see all the different people from, you know, Dallas Theological Seminary, and Grace Theological Seminary, and all the different places and people that were involved with this Bible. Uh, absolutely wonderful. I'm thankful for the privilege of uh, having this Bible. What an awesome job they did on this Bible. This Bible's amazing. You have to excuse my fan is blowing, keeping me cool. Here's your translators to the reader, folks. Uh, the Epistle Dedicatory, of course, is before it. They changed the color of this page to um, uh, a green, there's some gilding issues, overspray, it's causing these pages to stick, but um, this, the translator to the reader, is probably the most important read for you um, in this Bible before you get into this Bible. Um, you should get into that KJV um, uh, translators to the reader um, they pretty much dispel um, now well let me say it this way I've said it before if the King James translators were alive today they wouldn't be KJVO they would not be KJVO so uh, here's how to read and study the Bible and this is their interpretation of how you should read and study the Bible but um, I see a little wrinkling here I'm noticing a little wrinkling here that means that some of these pages wrinkled up um, during the process uh, um, of binding and once it was the book block was put together pressed to be sanded and sprayed and everything else um, it suffers um, sometimes too much pressure or too much humid humidity there might be too much moisture in the air um, that could cause that. Um, that front page you saw was all wrinkled up. Here's the first book of the Bible, Genesis. And you see they give you a little book introduction there. They start the intro there and they um, give you all the information that you need. Um, to do an in-depth study on the book then they give you an outline and this Bible has timeline at the bottom at the beginning bottom of each book introduction you'll see the timeline um, and then here's your text drop numerals bold um, bold um, contextual headings the creation first day second day third day um, this is a 10-point font, um, reads like an 11, 
because of the bold font, the Thomas Nelson Comfort Print, and the leading um, allows this to read very, very well. It is a very comfortable read. Uh, and that, that Thomas Nelson Comfort Print slammed it for me. Um, outside um, column references, two column text, KJV verse by verse, of course, and then you have the, your notes are extensive, they are reformed, um, and uh, absolutely sound theology. New Testament, um, red letter is bold, not uh, pink. Uh, it is readable, there you go, and uh, it's absolutely awesome. Yep, and you can see it contrasted against the dark print, the black print. Now I prefer um, black print, but I'll take this. Uh, chapters, uh, books, chapter, and page number. Um, the back is a concordance. There are some line note pages before the concordance. Uh, there is a couple of pages of line paper. Trust me, I did see it. I'm not seeing things. There's a table of weights and measures. Uh, King's English. helps you to understand particular words in the 1611 version that uh, you might not understand um, otherwise because of course words have changed um, but the original languages the Hebrew and Greek all right have not changed so if you study the original Hebrew and Greek you're going to find out what the word really means which is what I encourage people to do. Now, I was in a Bible study once where uh, the um, teacher was KJV. Oh, there's your line, note paper. It's before the maps. And uh, he told me, he says, uh, said something about the word. And he said he didn't understand what the word meant. So he pulls out his 1828 Webster's English Dictionary. And I said, brother, that's wrong. Well, I said, the Greek in that text reads, he said, brother, I don't read Greek. I read English. And I said, wow, hallelujah. Um, yeah, Agiline, goatskin leather cover, nice. Little comparison for you. Here's the hardbound version of this Bible. Um, and uh, you can see that it's about the same. Um, the thickness, of course, this is the leather's a little thicker because cushion as I told you um, but uh, you see the difference a um, little wider just because of the yap that they give you they give you a quarter inch yap here you can see all the way around so that's nice enough that's good enough for me I don't need anything more than that I like a full yap but um, this is fine here's another comparison here this is the Cambridge um, wide margin concord and you can see uh, the footprint is almost identical the home is a little bit thicker the goat skin here is a little bit more iron and it's not as soft and supple because it doesn't have that bone liner you can feel the difference just then you can see uh, these hubs are more detailed but they're stamped they're not raised um so yeah i would like to have seen raised hubs on this and if this had raised hubs oh one two three four five of them i would put so that would be nice but for all that hey look at that we have a holman KJB um, 
study Bible. Hallelujah. And uh, that's my Bible review of the Holman KJV study Bible. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great evening, and we'll get back with some more. In Jesus' name.